Up until the year 2013, I had been using Photoshop and Lightroom. Then, one day, I just stopped. I stopped on the literal day that Adobe announced their incredible month-to-month -month payment deal. This is not a quote, but it was couched in words proclaiming something like, no longer would you have to pay the high cost of buying Photoshop. Now, you could just rent it month to month. And look at these prices, what a great deal. And in that moment, I knew what Adobe was up to, and I stopped using them. I had dabbled a little bit in the stock market, and one of the things I had learned about the business world was that month to month payment plans could be a legitimate thing, like for a magazine company selling a subscription, but they could also be a superb scam for an organization trying to convert a product into service because it generated an endless cash flow. I'm old enough to remember when Bill Gates was really hell-bent on trying to apply this model to Microsoft products. And in some article I read, he was talking about how he would love to, rather than selling the Microsoft Word processor, he would like to have microtransactions for it where people got his operating system for free. And then if they needed to use Microsoft Word processor, they might turn it on and they would receive a small fee of 25 cents, 50 cents, something like that to use it until they turn it back off. And when they turn it back on, there would be another tiny fee. The idea being the fee itself would seem so tiny and trivial, most people wouldn't pay attention to it. But since people had to use it, and often repeatedly, every day it would generate a little cash flow. And over the course of time, that cash flow from millions of users all around the world going on and on and on would create a substantial and essentially endless revenue stream. And some people in the financial world thought that was a great idea, while other persons thought that a product that was being turned into a service so that it could be essentially f sold forever were effectively conducting a scam. So in the literal day that Adobe announced their month to month payment scheme, let, let me just call it what it is, their month to month payment scam, I quit using Adobe, quit. Now, Adobe software, Photoshop and Lightroom are excellent. There is no doubting that. And I was very active working in photography and videography so I had to replace their software. Now, I owned Lightroom and Photoshop back then, but I knew in time it was going to become less and less useful. In time, the, the version that I had, which was already a dated version, I think dating back to 2011 or so, would become less useful. New technology would come out, new image formats. And so I immediately set about researching and almost immediately found Photoshop's competitor, Affinity Photo. I switched to Affinity Photo and was so impressed within moments of what I saw there that I never looked back. Now, it's been, I think, 11 years since I made that switch. I think it, in those days, a full copy of Photoshop was, I know it was some absurd price, something like $1,200. Actually, I just now Googled the cost of the Creative Suite in 2013, and Google says the Creative Suite was $699 to $999 American dollars in 2013. So here in Canada, that worked out to $1,299. I have a friend who owns a photography store and, and I'm virtually certain that's what he was selling it for at the time. So anyway, where I'm going with this is when I first bought Affinity Photo, I did not think it could be as powerful as what it was because it was a whopping 70, maybe $75 USD. And when I bought it, it was half off. I, I just did not think it could be as powerful as what it was. But when I got to using it, it turned out that it was everything that it promised to be. And as soon as I started using it, I realized I was never gonna have to go back to Photoshop. So I used it quietly for years and developed a, a fair degree of expertise, I guess, with it. But I didn't make much of a big deal between using Affinity Photo and Photoshop. I figured if people were wanting and willing to pay Adobe's fee, then that was their business. But then the scam got worse and worse. And apparently Adobe inserted many tricks to trap people into their products once they had started using it most notably very large hidden fees for quitting using it, making it exceedingly difficult to navigate customer service in regard to changing or quitting a policy, and even making it difficult for small companies to add or remove users. Uh, like say if a, an editor that worked for a company had to leave the company or couldn't work for maternity leave or something, it was extremely difficult to take that user off the subscription while they were gone. So now, Adobe finds themselves under a potentially crushing lawsuit by the US government. And not just Adobe, but their executives directly are subjects of this lawsuit because they're the ones who made the calls to do these things. So I think that's great. I'm glad to hear that. And honestly, 
it's about time. So anyway, I am a strong advocate for Affinity Photo. I've, I've used the software for over a decade. I absolutely love it. It's my go-to photo editor for 99% of everything I do. I have an alternative to Lightroom called Capture One, which just like Lightroom, I use if I'm processing large batches of photos. Like I spend a lot of time studying the flora and fauna where I live. And if I head out for a few days in the woods, I can come back with several thousand photos. And I'll use Capture One to do the initial processing and get all the photos up to a basic standard. But in the end, any photos that I'm going to use in some other application, those will be edited in Affinity Photo because it is just so powerful and it can make any and every specific editing change I might ever want to do with it. In fact, almost all the videos on the Sky Story channel that have to do with photo editing astrophotography are using either PixInsight or Affinity Photo. And to be honest, between PixInsight and Affinity Photo, I consider Affinity Photo to be by far the more important tool. I can do the basic processing, such as frame selection and stacking, in a number of other softwares. I really only have the PixInsight editor because it's the only editor I know of that runs all the RC Astro tools that I like to use very smoothly, and the RC Astro tools are beyond value for editing Astro images right now. But really, all the editing of my Astro images I do in Affinity Photo. This is Affinity Photo working on a poorly exposed image I shot of the meadow and forest around my homestead. Yes, I know it's not an astro image, but it's a raw file, and I need a raw file to open up the raw development persona. The raw development persona is very powerful with many options, and in fact, I think you're going to find it to be pretty much the same thing as you're going to see in Photoshop. Affinity Photo looks and feels and works very much like Photoshop. If you used Photoshop, you will be able to switch over to Affinity Photo very easily. Not only will you be able to switch over, but you're going to be able to find pretty much all the same functionality you would get in Photoshop because, let's be frank, digital image editing technology is old news. It's been around since the 90s. It's been around since before then, actually. It's just been around at the, at the consumer level or the prosumer level since the 90s. And with old tech like this, it means that the advanced features that more professional editors are looking for, they're, they're just... They're not a big deal anymore. They're going to be in many software packages. You don't need Photoshop to get these features and you don't need Photoshop's crazy fees at all. And in Affinity Photo, using the power of raw processing, I was just able to casually and easily correct the various exposure issues within this image. Now, let's look at a proper astrophotography photo. This is an image of the Wizard Nebula that I completed a couple months ago and I used Pixed Insight for the subframe selection and stacking running the RC Astro Exterminators and the initial histogram stretch. But after that, all the additional processing was done in Affinity Photo. And because to be honest, I consider working in a non-destructive layer-based photo editor to be a superior option to PixInsight. And also to be honest, Photoshop was not needed at all. I mean, at no time in the last 11 years that I have been using Affinity Photo have I ever thought, gee, I sure feel like I'm missing out because I don't have Photoshop. In fact, there are no features in Photoshop that I need for developing that I haven't been able to find in Affinity Photo. So let's get back to this image that I opened with. I received this image in an email from Serif, which is the company that makes Affinity Photo just yesterday morning. Serif not only makes Affinity Photo, they also make Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher. And they are rightly so confident in their product that you can try it for six months for free. Now, admittedly, part of this is in response to the current crisis with Adobe. I know that, and Serif is basically saying, hey, try us, we can give you just as much for a fair price. But I think for my viewers, those who've been on the fence about giving Affinity Photo a shot, now's your chance. Affinity Photo has always offered a 30-day free trial, but it is a huge application. I've used it for 11 years and literally edited thousands of images with it over the years, both regular photography and astro photography, and I honestly don't think I've used more than 15 to 20% of its features. There are some things I just don't need, so I've never even touched them. So with a software package that big and that powerful, 30 days is enough to familiarize yourself with it in the most basic way, but six months will give you time to really get to know the software. So this offer is available to everybody, both previous users of Affinity who maybe haven't tried their other products yet, such as Designer, and it's available to new users. You can try all of their products for free for the next six months. On top of that, the products are currently on a flash sale for 50% off, which means presently you can get Affinity Photo for something like $35 US. 
And if you can replace Photoshop for a $35 one-time fee, really, what do you have to lose? So I know this is way outside of the usual kind of video that I do. I, I try to stay away from the negative critique stuff. But on the other hand, I genuinely feel Adobe is a company that has earned some hate. The Photoshop product itself is excellent, but the company's, the company's payment scheme is just a scam. Photo editing software is old news. There is no reason to charge prices like that. And Affinity Photo gives you an exceedingly powerful alternative and a fair price. So look into it. I don't think you'll regret it. And you can find a mountain of videos on how to use it in processing astrophotography right here on the Sky Story channel. Thanks for watching. Give it a try and get out there and shoot the sky.